Hi folks, John Jones here with k and Refining. We're going to start doing some precious metal armor builds. Now I've never done this before. I'm really interested in doing both the female and male uh, body armor. As you can see right here, I took this model of the female and started taking measurements and transferring over measurements to what would be basically a, a rough sketch of armor. So I ordered these two figures off of Amazon and they're quite pricey. Uh, what these are are one sixth scale of uh, the human body. This is a female version. When I ordered these, I was unaware that they're pretty much anatomically correct. <laughs> so, so we're not gonna open this one. This one showed up a day later. So I already kind of had a uh, good idea of what to look out for. And yes, but luckily this one came with some cover that I could put onto it and you know, I can cover some stuff up. And these are going to be my, uh, my models for getting the, the armor at the correct size. What I'd like to start doing is getting some measurements of circumference, length, like the body thickness itself from the back to the front of the chest. Uh, anything that has to fit basically from the back of the buttocks to the front. So uh, legs as well, the length from the top of the hip down to just above the knee and basically right just below the ankle to just above the knee and those being uh, basically your shin guards and your your uh, greaves and such but uh, let's let's get some measurements uh, do want to try and do uh, the gauntlets for these although I'm not sure uh, what kind of build we're gonna do on these because the fingers are quite small as we can see right here uh, the total length of it looks like the longest finger from the webbing is just about just under 17 millimeters in order to be able to do uh, individual little pieces they're gonna have to be really really tiny but uh, anyway we could figure it out I have some plans that I'm going to be using some leather for buckles. I'm going to be using some of this. Uh, this is two millimeter uh, crafting foam. It's two millimeters thick. Um, and I'll probably use this just to make a rough uh, build of the armor uh, all the way around. And of course using that. So these will be 100% precious metal once uh once i'm complete uh, not the body of course but the armor um all the way down to the little tiny buckles that i plan on building and you know the the rivets and stuff like that that hold the the uh pieces together all that stuff i want it to be all precious metal i don't want anything on here to be you know steel or uh brass or anything like that so if it's if it's a golden color, it's going to be gold. If it's a if it's a silver color, it's going to be silver. So that's my plans. Uh, let's go ahead and get measuring. Let's go ahead and we'll start right here at the shoulders. Let me make sure this is zeroed out. All right, so we have 92 millimeter across the shoulder, and that's the exact width of it, the widest point of the shoulders. So we have 92 millimeters. Let me go ahead and mark this down. And this goes across at 92 millimeters. And that's a width. So we have 92 millimeters there. So we have also 92 millimeters from the top of the knee to just below the ankle. 82, we can call it 83 millimeters. All right, there we go, 55. So we'll call it 56. All right, and we have 44.78 millimeters. So it's 60 millimeters, and then the waist would be 45. Lord, help. 
What? You need it on the bridge, sir. Knock on my door! Knock this time! Yes, sir. Did you see anything? No, sir. I didn't see you playing with your dolls again. Good! Uh, so far, we have these measurements. And... I think we can... I think we can work off of this. All right, cool. Well, let's start designing something and start getting some some uh, plans put together. Stay tuned. I guess I'll go ahead and I'll stop there. Um, like I said, I, I've, I've never done one of these before. I've never even designed armor before. Um, so this is, it, it's completely new to me. Um, <clears throat> this is my good, my, I guess my uh, first attempt at an armor rendition. So here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll make a series of basically the entire uh, process of this that I go through. I'm probably gonna do this one of those like it's way more work than uh, necessary, but uh, I'll get through it. Uh, so part one, we'll just have the uh, basically the design of it or rough design of it and in part two we'll come back and we'll start uh, cutting the foam and getting it placed um, I'll have to do you know a couple of the measurements as far as getting what size to cut these as as a flat piece so that you know I can curve it and everything like that and then uh, draw out. So I have to work my way from the outside layers or from the inside layers to the outside layers. Um, I don't know, I kind of lost it right here in the, in the uh, I guess that's a gauntlet, the uh, arm. So I don't know, I don't really like that, but I don't know, I might try something else too. And I don't know, who knows, <laughs> this probably would be, if it were real, be a super heavy piece of armor, <laughs> a suit of armor rather, and uh, it would never be usable. <laughs> the guy would probably never be able to get off the ground. So uh, anyway, uh, until next time, KJ Refining.